Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how we can easily uh, parse JSON uh, that came as a response from a REST web service. In uh, one of my previous videos I have showed you how to work with JSON using the system uh, JSON but uh, personally I'm not too happy with this approach considering that uh, it comes with a lot of code. So for example I'm using here the JSON object that represents the entire JSON uh, content then uh, I'm extracting uh, only arrays from that content and uh, depending on the complexity of the JSON I would uh, need uh, uh, additional JSON uh, objects and so on and so on. So it's a lot of code and uh, not always appropriate solution, right? So, uh, well, let me just demonstrate an example here. Uh, here is the um, uh, free uh, REST web service for testing, uh, regress.in, and it offers several uh, endpoints. Uh, for example, list users, and uh, that list users, uh, when you perform get on it, it will return this JSON as a response. And what we want is to be able to parse that response in uh, our application. And if I click here, I can see uh, that JSON right there. So what I'll do is, um, well, I'll use this uh, link here. And um, in order to uh, uh, do that, I'll use uh, REST debugger. And that is the key tool that I want you to show uh, today. And um, well, let's just see, REST debugger and I'll paste the URL uh, and send a request. So uh, we got the headers and we got the body. And the body is uh, a JSON response here, right? And we can compare that body with uh, this. So we have ID7 Michael Lawson Okay, ID7, Michael Lawson, ID8 is Lindsay Ferguson, ID8, Lindsay Ferguson, and so on and so on. So we can see that we got the uh, uh, correct response. But, uh, but what's important here, uh, and that will make our um, uh, parsing much easier, is the tabular data. So if I click here, I can see the same JSON, but as a data set. And that is uh, uh, the key idea here. Uh, we can uh, represent our uh, JSON, as a data set and then simply uh, extract uh, or access uh, uh, any part of uh, that data set uh, much easier than by using uh, these uh, DJSON uh, objects. So when working with data set you already know it doesn't matter if it is uh, database table, if it's uh, XML, if it's uh, in this case even JSON, we always use the same approach, always use the same set of methods. For example, if we want to uh, access this uh, value in a total column, we would uh, access the data set uh, filled by name uh, total as uh, double, for example, right? And uh, now uh, we can see that we can get uh, our uh, uh, JSON response as a data set. Uh, in order to do that in our application, you simply click here, uh, copy components. Okay, and uh, he says the following components have been copied to the clipboard, to REST client, uh, REST request, REST response, uh, response data set adapter, and FD mem table. So uh, what he will do here is uh, he will uh, retrieve the content or uh, the response uh, from uh, this REST web service. He will uh, uh, represent it as a data set and dat data set will be uh, represented by this uh, mem table. So it's a uh, in memory uh, data set. When I click OK, now I go back in my application and I simply go paste. And now you see uh, here we have all our components uh, uh, ready. Okay, and when, once I click this uh, REST client, it's already uh, set up to uh, uh, this URL that we have specified. We have a request, a response, um, response dataset adapter, and uh, fmem table, which will automatically be populated with uh, uh, JSON content as a dataset. Well, the uh, only thing that is left now is to show the content and we are going to use a data source that will be linked to uh, this mem table 
and then we will use uh, uh, DB Grid uh, to uh, show the content of this uh, mem table one. Okay, and what's left is to execute uh, a request. Execute, and voila. We now see uh, that our application uh, received a JSON as a response, and that JSON is now uh, represented as a data set. And like I said, uh, afterwards you work with this as with any other data set. And uh, what I want to show in this example is also that uh, considering this is a data set, we have uh, here a nested data. So uh, if you look at the response uh, here, we can see that this is a page uh, uh, per page total total pages and uh, if we go in our application this is page per page total total pages so uh, it's represented with a single column but also uh, this set of data here is nested and uh, uh, it's represented with data so uh, what we have under data is again another uh, data set okay and we can uh, parse that uh, 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 part of JSON uh, in the same manner. Uh, go to REST debugger. I'll place the uh, same um, URL. Send request. Uh, tabular data. But in this case, I'm going to say that a data column here is nested and I'll click apply and now what I get is uh, uh, data that are inside uh, this uh, array here shown as a data set so uh, you see here uh, uh, Michael Lawson uh, Michael Lawson and the avatar location is here the same goes for the second user, third user, and so on. And again, I can do the same thing, uh, copy components, and uh, for example, paste it here. And in this case, we can uh, re reduce the number of components. For example, uh, we can use um, only one uh, uh, REST client. Uh, and and to reuse the first one right and uh, I'll again use the data source for the second mem table and the DB grid in this case here and uh, I'll say data source is now linked uh, to the second mem table and this data source is linked to a second data source and uh, now let's execute a request and we can see now what we uh, got. Uh, we got the entire uh, 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 JSON here, uh, parsed, uh, parsed uh, or represented as a data set. And this is a subset for the data array again as a data set. And that's how it's done. Uh, just notice that we didn't uh, wrote a single line of code just yet, but of course in a real application we would, uh, for example, to uh, uh, specify details about the request, uh, URL, and uh, those uh, type of settings. And that's it guys, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon with another video.